Hello, so this is the Teresa Two Bolts speedboat. Uh, she got her name, she got christened her name from the amount of weight I need up front to keep the bow nice and steady is uh, two bolts, 170 uh, grams. Um, I used a hinge here. As you can see, I used a hinge. Um, they're kind of a fancy hinge, and uh, I used that to uh, make my rudder, and then I just folded a little, well actually I just JB welded a piece of, a uh, nice little piece of brass there that I cut off of a, a door plate. And then for the, for the, For the prop and the drive shaft, I just ordered this. Uh, this is a Traxxas part. You give me a second, I'll tell you. And if I don't tell you now, I'll forget. Uh, the drive shaft with the oil light bushings is a 1528 Traxxas part. I believe it's for the one of their speedboats. And then the prop is a 1583. I ordered two of them in case I messed it up. Um, I just used a. So, so the boat itself is made out of foam. Um, this Dow Styrofoam, the blue stuff. You could use the pink stuff too. I cut a board here for the back, about the same size, and then I glued it on. And I also drove. Uh, I, I put epoxy all over these screws, and I drove three screws in there. You know, just for added, added strength. And um, I glued the boards together. I glued this foam together with carpenter's wood glue. Now, if I had to do it over again, I, I didn't want to spend the money for the 3M spray adhesive. If I had to do it over again, I would just buy that 3M spray adhesive because I've had really had to watch, uh, you, you know, I just painted it with the latex and I read this thing that said, that, you know, it, latex is a, as good a waterproofing as any, and it is, but when water gets down through the top, it, uh, you know, I had to really waterproof those in there. I'll show you in a second. But this little top was a canister off of some type of, you know, Bissell or some type of uh, water vacuum, you know. And I just, it was the canister, and I just cut it in half. I'll show you where the, you can see the threads of the, the little fill thing were. And then I just epoxy these little, these little dowels on it, you know. Just to, and then just punch some some holes in there. So that is the that is the. Now the cool thing what what I did here is I have my mini Revo there, and uh, I just pulled the motor out of it, made a nice little mount, the brass uh, brass mount there. Um, pretty simple. I just used the template of the uh, of the motor mount, which is this here. To, to drill my holes. Um, I'm also using the Erevo ESC and receiver. Um, I just have them out, out now because I have that paint drying. I got a nice little servo out of a helicopter my friend uh, found for me. I put that right in there, drove it with a bar. And uh, that's the best I've come with, up with. God, this isn't focusing good, is it? What the hell is going on here? <laughs> That's good enough. But, you know, it just drives that. Just drives that. And it drives it good. And I and I, I took it for its maiden voyage today, and it was fantastic. It just was like, you know that, that, that moment where you... <laughs> yeah, so, I also mounted the motor at, at an angle, if you see that. I kind of, I didn't want to, I didn't want to do too much funk on this, uh, this little U-joint there. Um... And so, you know, just attach that there, and boy, it, it goes like a bat out of hell. It's amazing, you know, it's really neat. Uh, I like making projects out of my, with my E-Revo parts, because then I can try them and see if they work, and then if they do, I can order them, and I, I know all the dimensions and stuff. Uh, to try to design something with, without knowing the dimensions for me is, you know, I'm not good at that. I'm, and I'm usually not good at documenting my build, because I don't really know what the hell I'm doing. I just start building and get excited and, uh, you know take a nap when I've, when I've, you know, got a little confused. <laughs> so I, I do like the two bolts up there in the bow, you know, uh, 
it, it's good to find things that match my match my personality a little bit and that's kind of rugged and uh, unconventional and that always makes me feel good about myself to to be able to just use what I have and um, I got a little bit of you know I didn't know exactly how to how to do that shaft like whether or not to come real straight and and I just kind of went with what I had um, again I wouldn't use carpenter glue I'd use that 3m stuff but but cutting this out beforehand was a good idea for me I did make I did uh, I need to give myself some credit there um, to cut that out afterhand, you know, then you got to pry it all up and, it, and the glue would stick and stuff. So I had it pre-cut, all the electronics fit in there, the battery fits. I'm just using the E-Revo battery, you know, it's like, you know, just make do with what, what, what I have. And, uh, so I'll, I'll turn it and let you see it. And I uh, got, you know, what, what a fun thing when you put it in the water and it floats <laughs> for, for, the, for starters, but but I really just, it's just amazing because I tried to make another one. And, you know, it's one of those beginner's luck thing. It's like, it's like I did a pretty good job on this, you know. Not bad, you know. I mean, the thing looks like a, a real boat, you know.